Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria and this is Victoria TCS. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to edit picture. So we're going to be going from this picture to this picture. Amazing, right? So if you'll be interested in watching how I edit the picture, I'm going to be using the app Snapseed. Just stay tuned and let's go to the video. Let's dive. Welcome back my lovelies. So for the sake of this video, you might just want to turn your phone slightly to the side. I don't know what side, but you might want to turn your phone. Anyways, like I said before, I'm going to be using my nail pictures as a um, as the prop for this editing, basically. And I decided to do this picture because it's it has like quite a number of things I can easily show you guys um, examples with. So I'm just going to look for the one that's um, quite worse. What I usually now there are some things that you need to note before you edit your pictures you want to be able to get um your picture as close to perfection as you possibly can now sometimes it's impossible to do that but with practice you get there basically so we're just going to be using this picture i think um i might just use this picture let me increase my screen's brightness a little bit more yeah so this is brighter and then i just go to edit and i take it directly into my snapseed so like i said before we're going to be using snapseed as our editor and this is what i used to edit all of my pictures you guys all of my pictures now when you get snapseed the first few things that you would come across are um the styles that snapseed has already provided for you so you will have portraits you have smooth you have pop that is nasty you have accentuate ah, the aura you have morning all of these filters are nice like when you have the right picture to go with it and all of that but i'm going to back to current and i'm just going to you know show you guys what i do normally let me drag this all the way down and now i use tools i go to my tools and now you find different icons when you go to your tools from tune image details curves white balance but there are only a few icons and i use and that's tune image details white balance crop sometimes healing and brush those are the ones and oh yes lens blur sometimes those are like the um icons i mess with most of the time anyways so go to tune image now on that tune image we have several icons what i'm doing is i'm just tapping on my screen and scrolling up and down so we have the brightness contrast saturation ambience highlights shadow and warmth i'll try as much as possible to explain these things and what they do as i edit so the first thing i always like to attack is the brightness of my picture i believe that um the brighter your picture the um the better it is so anyways what brightness is for is to show how dark or how light your picture is you know changing the brightness of the picture also in um affects the pixel um it affects all the pixels equally so the bright the dark parts will become brighter and the bright parts will become brighter do you understand so if i go minus both the dark the dark parts get darker the light parts get darker but if i go all the way up the light parts get lighter the dark parts get da gets darker basically ah oh, such a tongue twister so i never go above 50 with my brightness because be looking freaky but anyways a good maybe 20 this for me is okay because i still want the nails themselves to pop then i go down to contrast now for this picture i'm not going to mess with um the contrast the contrast just talks about the difference between the light and the dark pixels it makes everything extreme so um high contrast image have bright highlights and dark shadows so what contrast does is it makes the bright parts brighter and the dark parts darker as opposed to the brightness that just makes everything bright together or dark together so yeah 
let me show you what I mean. If I take it minus to to um the minus, you'd see that it has made the light parts darker and the dark parts lighter. But if I bring it up, it will make the light part light <laughs> light parts lighter and the dark parts darker. Like <laughs> but you guys are seeing what I'm saying. This is so annoying. But anyways, I'm not going to mess with that because I don't need that for this picture. So I'll go to the saturation. Now what the saturation does is it just intensifies the color. It makes it more vivid. You get, um, it intensifies it. So if I reduce saturation, it makes it closer to gray. It makes it like a grayish color, do you understand? But if I increase saturation, it is more of a red undertone. So it's, it's makes the picture more vivid so look at how the picture at zero and look at it now at 20 but 20 is way too much i just need it enough to make the nails themselves pop more so let me just stop at 10 let me see if i can get hit 10 yes perfect so um i'm going to scroll up again ambience now what ambience does it does is it controls the um the balance of light so if you have a background that is lighter than the image itself what ambience does is it balances the light so that the focus can also be on the image now if i do a minus you see that the background is is um darker i don't i i, I hope you guys can see what i'm saying but if i should increase the ambience you see that more light more focus comes to the nail itself so look at that more focus is like on the back basically and now more focus is like on the nail itself is a little brighter so if my saturation is high i always tend not to take my ambience so high because it just gives it a funky feeling i do not explain that but it gives it a weird feeling so this is on five then next is highlights but for this picture i don't think i want to mess with my highlights highlights just highlights the <laughs> light part <laughs> but anyways um i think a highlight of four should be enough for this picture you guys should just play around like play now shadows makes the dark parts darker and then when you increase it it makes the dark parts lighter it only messes with the shadows in the picture basically so um i don't think i want any shadow on this nail because obviously as you guys can see my client here has she has beautiful hands but she has um some slightly dark knuckles and i want to try to correct that which i will still show you as the video um progresses and we have warmth now i don't mess with warmth a lot because my pictures always come out pretty warm um and i always correct my warmth in another of the tool so yeah i'm done with this section of the tool this was how the picture looked before this is how it is looking now and we've only used one tool now the next thing i like to go to is details you saw that details that's the next thing i like to go to under details you have the icon structure and sharpening so with structure it intensifies the um grains in the picture basically it, it makes it look um more textured yes so if i take it all the way up you see how horrid this is <laughs> but if i bring now for some pictures it works using this it depends on the kind of effect you're trying to give your picture but for new pictures you don't want to present your nails like this trust me and you don't want to present it like this either this is over edited i don't like seeing pictures like this it pisses me off this is over edited so i'm just going to go back and then show you guys what i do i don't go above around 30 max 40 but for this picture i think 30 is just perfect because it has smoothened out the nail a little bit more and how i balance it is if i'm having a structure of about 30 i go to my sharpening and i sharpen the picture so i want it sharp but i don't want it super textured now i don't take my sharpness all the way to a hundred and um only on rare occasions do i hit 50 
so i always take my sharpness to around 30 40 also depending on the kind of picture it is but i think for this picture 30 should be perfect if not even 20 something 25 i think 25 is okay so yes now look at what it was before look at what it is looking like now so straight up i'm going to before i go into the white balance i'm just going to go straight into brush now you see this icon below the crop brush i'm just going to click on brush now under brush the only thing in all honesty the only thing i use under brush is the dodge and burn um tool that's what i use on that brush and um burn what burn covers the part that light is hitting on the nail and dodge just um wait did i just mix that up sorry dodge covers the part that light is hitting and burn exposes it so now i want to um um i want to remove the dark knuckle so what i would want to do is i would want to burn it basically it sounds like opposites but that's what you want to do you want to burn the nail actually so i'm just going to burn it and try to zoom in now all i'm doing is just zooming in to the um knuckle parts and then i'm just going to clear that out did you guys see how that just cleared out in a matter of seconds so now i'm not going to clear it out to a point where it starts looking superficial like oh my god there was something there and now like i'll try to clean it as much as possible as close as i can get without it looking too unrealistic because what happens is it begins to look ashy do you understand so i'm just going to you'll see me use the healing tool to clear that out later on so one thing while i'm working at this one thing i would like to say to us is as much as possible try to get your work as neat as you can possibly get so that you don't have to correct too much when you're correcting this is just to make the presentation better are we there together now when you have super super dark um spots i try not to um mess with it too much because what it does it it begins to look ashy so i just try to get it at least to a brown tone and then i just leave it alone because i'm not about to mess anything up so yeah try to get all them knuckles as much as you possibly can and blend that into the nail also and now look how it's looking like but i can see some streaks i made a mistake over on this side so i'm just going to try to correct that and look at how it's looking now i feel like this part can still take some burn without it looking too um weird yeah ah now it's looking weird can you see what i was telling you guys about now can you see how white that surrounding part is looking like so what i'll do is i'll just bring it down to erase oh god i'm going to have to start this again and erase all of that so having erased it i'll just use a five and work on that again using a five a brush five okay now i can go up to 10 and focus on just the knuckle get it to be brown and not like what i did before okay now look at it it's not as bad as before let's look at what we have done so far so um this is what we have right now this is what we had before can you guys see the huge difference already what we had before what we have right now what we had before what we have right now what we had before what we have right now so now i'm going to go back to my tools and i'll go to healing now what healing does is it helps you correct like some mistakes for example look at this little piece of skin sticking out here i just tapped on that 
you don't need to i don't drag you can drag with healing but i don't drag when you drag this is what happens can you see that it joins so i'm just going to go back on that and let me show you aha do you see that that's me dragging so i'm just going to go back and then look for any spots i can see i stained her hand with nail polish here just try as much as possible to get in there and correct it you know do some cleaning up just dots all i'm doing is adding dots 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 zoom in look for any imperfection take it out zoom out look again zoom in again any imperfection take it out do you understand that's what healing is for and i don't use healing much because i try as much as possible to get my work neat but i don't know what i was doing here but <laughs> i did not do that to this picture so i think i'm done with healing and yeah voila that is all i do with my edits look at what it was before look at what it is now and i'm just going to go to lens blur because i want the focus to be on the nail now in lens blur you'll find the blur strength the transition how far apart you want the transition to be John stand the transition of the blur is what i mean then the vignette strength if you want i do, I, re I really don't like vignettes around my pictures just tiny so i'm just going to take the circle the inner circle is the clearest the middle circle is a little bit more blurry and then the outer circle is like super blurry look at that that's what it's going to look like so but i i'm going to take it to just like this point 42 and yeah that's what i want so can you see that the focus is now on the nail itself nothing else but the nail itself this is what we had before and this is what we are having now so that's it we were here before and now we are here it looks more how would i put it appealing you understand so yeah i like it this way and i'm just going to work with this this is how i edit my nail pictures and then i just click on done and i'm done so now i'm going to show you guys how i do it so that you know that it really doesn't take time to edit the um pictures so let me just take another picture <coughs> excuse me let me take another picture let me use this one okay let me use this one and start mm. so tools tune image increase the brightness saturation a bit mm. ambience a little highlights do i want highlights mm -hmm. okay doesn't look bad shadow no i don't want shadows I feel like I need a little more saturation, but okay. I think that's fine. Details come down 39, sharpen 40. That looks alright. Then brush. Let's get those knuckles sparkly and clean. Oh, that looks good. Okay. Let me get into that line more and get into the spots around here. Um, move here, move here, here, here. Uh, a lot of majesty. I missed a finger. Divine authority okay oops all right um let me just turn this a little bit more i'm just literally sweating around on it and then yes what it was before what it is now go to healing i saw something to be healed okay this is it boom who else needs healing touch nobody okay and yeah voila i'm done 
I don't need it. Let me see if um a little. Mm, mm, okay, just a little bit. Look at that, and I am done. Look at what it was before. Look at what it is now, and it didn't even take me long at all to get that done. So, you guys, that is how to edit this um picture or these set of pictures basically yeah this is it so look at it compared to what it was before compared to what it was before look at the pictures so that's it for this video guys this is basically you know um what we edited just now look at the before pictures and then look at the after pictures amazing right so um let me know in the comments below if you've used snapseed before and um if you're thinking of using it it's a really really great app to use and it's super easy and fun to use so try it out and let me know how it goes for you you can tag me on your pictures if you try to use my edit style and yes that's it for today's video guys i'll see you in the next video if you want me to um make more videos like this um let me know in the comments and i definitely will see you in the next video guys Bye bye